the <clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm finally filming the second part to the Journal With Me video I posted like eight months ago? Question mark? I've just broken up from college for the half term. So hopefully this week I'll have a little bit more time to film. All my like end of year exams are done now, which is a great feeling. Relax, breathe, it's all good. This week's been particularly hectic because I had my devising piece on the Monday and then we had two like um, essay style things to put with that and then I had um, an evaluation like that I did like a thousand words for a music and then I did the showcase on Wednesday. So that means it's all done now. This week was stressful but we can breathe, we can... So I thought I would take you along, just me journaling um, kind of what I got up to this week. There's a lot of stuff to put in there so I thought I would make this into a journal with me. So I'm going to switch over to voice over me now. Let's, let's go. So firstly I grabbed my journal, obviously I opened up to the right page and everything and then I grabbed the photos that I had printed out. Right, let me, let me explain this one. So basically there was a display of everything we've been doing that year and that was the buttons that I played in pantomime that just happened to be one of the photos that was up. This was the costume that I used for the showcase. I was playing Michael from Michael in the Bathroom. Not as in like Michael from Be More Chill, but Michael that I created from the song to fit the context of the piece, if that makes sense. Kind of confusing, but it worked. Then I put some washi tape on. I was using this really cool like sparkly green stuff that I got on uh, online like, I think like a solid eight months ago. I put some washi tape on the other side and then I decided where I wanted to stick all my other photos. These photos, I think, are some of the favourite ones I've ever taken in performing arts. They're quite bittersweet, though, because basically in our class, we have, like, the Year 13s and the Year 12s put together. So we can kind of help each other and make sure we have enough, like, people, like, shows and everything. It's, like, a really, really, like, great, like, family there. But this is the Year 13s last performance with us, which is so, so sad. Um, They've left now, like, the class. So it's just us Year 12s for the rest of the year, which is really, really sad. I guarantee some of them will be watching this, so hi, you've made this year fantastic. You're all so, so talented and we'll really miss you in class. Purely because of the amount of photos I had, I decided to do another page, so I just got some washi tape out again, stuck it on the sides, and I did, like, the same thing for this page as I did the last page. I think now would be a perfect time to kind of explain what the piece was on. So basically we did this thing that was, like, a school setting... We all picked individual songs and then we made those songs fit into the storyline. So there was loads of different ones. We had Candy Store from Heathers. We had obviously Michael in the Bathroom. We had some pop songs as well. We had um, Read All About It. It was a really just awesome collection of just all of our talents merged into one piece. It was really, really awesome to see. And I think the final product came out really well. I'm slightly biased, but I think the end product came out really well. This is a card from our dance teacher because unfortunately she's leaving. We've had her for about a year um, and she's been amazing. She's been really, really incredible. Um, she'd left like the week before, but she came back for the showcase, which was so lovely of her. But yeah, I was just sticking this in here. I thought I'd stick the envelope in so I didn't have to stick the actual card down. I think we should take like two seconds to appreciate how pretty the card is as well. Like it's like a seaside um, thing, which love. I also stuck um, a sticker down like on the envelope so it stayed shut. So I just used like a guitar sticker because I have some music stickers that I need to use up. Yeah, so that's basically all I did to actually decorate the page. Sometimes this specific washi tape sticks together because it's like shiny. And then I had one leftover picture so I decided to put that one in. Uh, these are actually the contrasting ones. I don't know if you can tell, um, but the top one I think is the funny one. And then the bottom one's like a serious one, which I thought was really funny. And uh, yeah, so these are the pages that I did. I think they turned out really well. I really, really like how they look, the little card in the little pocket. So that leaves the final thing to do, which is to write it down. I just got out uh, just a normal biro pen. I think this is a Bic pen, question mark. I probably could go and look, but I can't bother. <laughs> but yeah, I just wrote down everything. So I'm going to leave you to watch me fill out the page with some music. Cool. <laughs>
about the other pages like later in the evening so I just decided to stop the time lapse there and that's the pages done that is the end of the video uh thank you for watching I'm really really happy with how the pages turned out I think they look like really cool as cliche as it sounds I love being able to just capture these kind of moments in paper form but yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video please remember to click the like button subscribe if you want down below and maybe leave a comment and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone